The Prophet was fasting. How how the Prophet fasting? He was sucking the lips of Aisha. This is how fasting work. Hmm? This is how fasting people do. He was sucking the tongue and the lips of Aisha. Maybe he was out of water. Go fast. Actually, even the idea of fasting, you know, I will make a special video about it just to show you that Muhammad, he is a potato. He was trying to copy other religion around him. They fast, he need to fast too. This is why Muhammad, he was changing the fasting days. You see, Ramadan is something new. Before that, he was fasting as the pagan. Before that, he was fasting as the Jews. Before that, he was fasting as the Christians. And then at the end, he chose Ramadan as the Sabian. This is the Sabian fasting. But, but Muhammad, there is no fasting in Islam. And hold on, the, the Muslim they fast in the month of Ramadan. Let me show you this joke about Ramadan. Ramadan was caused, was called this way. According to the book of history, obviously Ramadan is either like August, July, something like that. It's Ramadan, it's the month of thirst. It's very hot. So the most hot month in Arabia, they call it Ramadan. Ramadan means the thirst. Ramadan. <coughs> Okay. So the Arab they have a calendar, and Ramadan is one of their month, the pagan month. So Muhammad he took the Arab calendar, but he played with it. What he did, the idiot. The Arab they have a lunar calendar. Let us see here. I'm trying to find you. I mean, I try to open a Muslim website and I see nothing but commercial. <clears throat> Hold on. All right. So when Muhammad he went supposedly to Yathrib, the Muslim they decide to make the calendar start from the time of Muhammad leaving uh, to Yathrib, Hijrah. And they don't correct the year no more. You know? There's a verse about it in the Quran to forbid correcting the year. What the Arab and the Jews used to do, you see, the Jews they have an occasion in the Passover, you know, if you go and read, you will see it's in the 15th of Nisan. 15th of Nisan, that is an occasion every year, a holy day for them. And this is considered as a Sabbath. And that 15th day, 15, can be called, is Sabbath, but it's not the day of Saturday necessarily. It can be Sunday, it can be Monday, it can be Tuesday, but it have to be in the 15th of Nisan. So how we can maintain the 15th of Nisan date? So what the Jews, they do, they add a few days every few years to correct their calendar. They add a few days every few years to correct their calendar. Actually, they add it every year almost. So in order to keep the calendar working correctly, so they have to fix it. So they add days at the end of the year in order to make it work and come to normal. So they knew that the calendar is not perfect. The Arab, they have the same calendar, but the Arab, they do the same as the Jews. But Muhammad, because he's a fool, he told them that doing that is an act of kuffar. This is an act of pagan, because Allah, he says, the year is a 12 month. Allah, he said, the year is 12 months. 
so if you add a month every three years you are just saying that Allah is wrong so Muhammad is not like the Jews the Jews they don't say that God calendar they say this is our calendar Muhammad he claimed that this is Allah calendar the moon calendar so he forbid them in chapter 9 verse number 37 from adding date or adding days to the end of the year to fix it and by doing that Ramadan you know you will notice Ramadan now because he canceled the correction he, he told them that this is an act of disbelief this is a kuffar this is pagan this is false so now Ramadan can come in July Ramadan can come in this December can come in February can come in March every year there's a new Ramadan why because Muhammad he forbid them from correcting the calendar do you see it it's in the front of your eyes <clears throat> and he claimed that this is a work of the devil it's in the front of you 